Hundreds of people, especially the Ovambanderu and Ovaherero, gathered at the late chief Keharanyo's mother's house this afternoon to mourn their chief and at the same time listen to what the senior traditional councillor of the Ovambanderu Traditional Authority had to say about his death. At a media conference, senior traditional councillor Erastus Kahure described Chief Keharanyo II Guvauva's death as a great loss to the Ovamandero community and the nation at large. Speaking through an interpreter, Kahure first described Chief Keharanyo as a respectful leader and a humble chief who spoke to his followers with humility. It also came to light at a media briefing that the late Chief Keharanyo left a suicide note. Although they could not reveal the note's content in detail, as it was still with the police, senior traditional councillor mentioned some of the things that the late chief had written in the note. To this letter we have not been given a copy of, but yesterday a delegation from us went to the police and it was read to us. Now what we can inform the nation, what we can misspell, are the rumors going around that the late chief is no more because somehow he has decided to throw in the towel, he has decided to tell those aspiring to this chieftainship that now they have cut blanche to do what they want. He also indicated that the late chief in his letter he left behind, he also clearly indicated how he wants the funeral arrangements to be made. This is as regards to the place, and he was also very clear as to where he did not want to be buried. In the suicide note, the late Chief Kaharanyo also made it clear as to who will succeed him. To this end, Kaharere told the gathering that there would be no leadership vacuum as the person who will succeed Chief Kaharanyo will be announced after the funeral. Kahorere further told the media that the content of the suicide note will be made known to the public when the right time comes. The venue and the date for the funeral will be communicated at the latest stage. There were concerns raised at the media conference as to whether the other group, led by acting chief Gershon Kashirwa, will be welcomed at the funeral. The senior traditional councillor made it clear that everyone was welcome as long as they came with the primary aim of mourning the late chief. Chief Keharanyo II Guvauva was installed as paramount chief of the deeply divided of a Manderu community on the 9th of August 2008, following the death of his father, Chief Munyukun Guvauva II, earlier that year. Since then, he has been involved in a power struggle with his elder brother, who is also the Fisheries and Marine Resources Deputy Minister, Kiles Nguvova, designated by the other faction as the successive leader. At his coronation, Chief Keharanyo II pledged to devote most of his time and energy on uniting the community. But several attempts of unity among the community have not yielded the desired results. Nguvova was brought up in neighboring Botswana, where he attended school before furthering his tertiary education in South Africa as a qualified legal practitioner. 